It's time for the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer with hell mode settings. There's so many settings set that I don't even wanna to try to go through them, but the basic of it is, yes, all the keys are, 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 are in the pool. All of the Skulltula tokens are in the pool. We need a hundred tokens to even get into Ganon's tower. Ganon's tower boss key is in the mix. That's a funny song for that scene. Everything, shop sanity is turned on, quad damage on. Doors are not randomized. No entrance randomizer to save us. Well, everyone, <laughs> that's 30 gift subs, which means I believe it's time for our reading from the Hardcore Gamer Magazine, August 2006. Have you ever played a racing game and had a good fun time with it, but didn't really get enough at it to pwn? Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. To pwn it until your buddy came over and showed you how to power slide. Hook from being a good fun game to being the best racing game you ever played. That's what the Wii controller does with Excite Truck. What we played was a simple two track demo with four or five computer controlled opponents and that's it. It's got trees, hills, some water, some scenery, some checkpoints. Everything else they add from here and from the release will be icing on the best birthday cake you ever tasted. Nuff said. So there's an article here about Project Hammer. That game never released. It has this image of a gaming keyboard. You guys wanna play with this gaming keyboard? Cause I don't. I'm very scared of it. How odd. Oh. <laughs> uh, Okami preview and oh god oh god we found the preview for Sonic the Hedgehog 06 Sonic's team's goal is to make sure that all who play this have no doubt that Sonic is all about being really cool and being really fast and they've promised to make sure the 3D camera control are rock solid Silver the Hedgehog is a new character hailing from the future to hinder Sonic his motive Sonic is apparently the Iblis trigger all signs point to this being oh please Please, please. His best game in a long time. Everyone, we're gonna give a professional review here of this Zelda figure from First Four Figures. She does have a butt and it is <laughs> very sculpted, I, I gotta say. And you wanna see the best part about it? And yes, you can see the Sheikah Slate does glow, which is very cool. I would give this a 9.1 out of 10. Let's just go full sellout. All right, we do start with the shadow medallion, so yippee, I guess. <gasps> Wait. Oh, it's actually the sword. Killing's on the menu, boys. Yeah. Gotta watch out. Andrew has like a a huge speaking radius. I don't know. Wait, did she not give me an item? Or is there a random number of chickens? Is this too many chickens? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, what the heck? In my days, I've never missed a chicken, but apparently here we are. Double license revoked. And I just got it too. I got distracted by chat. Chat, why would you distract me? Right when I was going to get that chicken. That, the, the, the slingshot? How much does it cost? I'll buy it. 200, 200, 225. Malin's gonna give me an item. Psych! Thank you, Malin, for cursing me with your devil powers. Oh, Skulltula's kill me! <laughs> the four times damage. Small key for the spirit temple. These are not the hover boots. These are the heaver boots. We don't trust like that. Heaver boots? No, I only buy Nike brand hover boots. A, a piece of the Triforce, AKA a, a bomb chew. My favorite part is the Triforce. Power, wisdom, courage, and explosives. Large! Freeze. All right, Talon's chickens. I have one try at it. Oh God. Please don't go sploosh. Please, no chicken, no! Well, why are you still up there? What the heck? What the, My favorite song in the game. Cool. Good thing I bought that 60 rupee item. All the water flowing on King Zora's butt and nethers. It's remarkably clean. I, I trust King Zora. Eight out of 10. <laughs> no problem, dude. All right, I have a date with a tree. Not the Deku tree. I'm, I'm, me and the Deku tree aren't seeing each other anymore. What happened? You two were too good together. Yeah, no, me and the Deku tree had some creative differences in our relationship. He wanted to stay home all the time because he says he can't move because he's rooted into the ground. And I'm like, man, I want to go places. I want to go to Kakariko. I want to go to the, the milk bar. Doesn't want to get on a plane. 
says they don't have seats for trees. And also, he couldn't go to them even if there was. <laughs> I saved it. Oh, and my shield burnt. Whatever. Actually, that's very bad. Wind Waker has been my... Oh, please don't kill me. No difference if it's Tingle or not. Time to die. Wait, I can I can blow it up without dying. No, I got I, I thought I, I forgot to have a shield. <laughs> All right. Would you rather questions? All right. Would you rather lead a boring life from here forward or be reborn with all your memories into a baby the opposite sex? Or I would be reborn. Next question. That's the dumbest one so far. And we've already done one. Would you rather be immortal or die right now? Huh, I'll be immortal. Good question. Would you rather ha only have access to YouTube on the internet or only have access to games on the internet? Wait, YouTube. Ocarina of Time's not online. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. This is the best one so far. Would you rather have nipples that constantly change colors like a disco light or have nipples that look like diamonds? So in the first one, that means that they don't change actual physical shape or texture or anything. They just <laughs> change colors. I'll take the colors because I don't want them. Well, if they look like diamonds, they don't. Does that mean they don't feel like diamonds? I'll take. I'll take the color changing. That's a good one. Would you rather non-stop peeing for the rest of your life or non-stop crying for the rest of your life? Crying. I would just. Everybody would feel really bad for me. <laughs> the entire life. Would you rather always know when people are lying or always get away with lying? I'm gonna be honest with you all here. It might seem like the bad one to say always get away with the lying. That one, that doesn't mean you have to lie. It two, protects you from like always like being suspicious. Like that is very powerful. So if you like want to abuse that for your own advantage, which is unethical, you could. You could walk into a interview and be like, I was the CEO of Microsoft. I am Bill Gates. And they'd say, oh my God. You walk into the, to Chase Bank and say, I am Bill Gates, give me my money. And they'd be like, okay, sir. Furries of the chat, I want you to rise up here because this one's a good one. Would you rather have a giant birthmark covering 78% covering of your face or have a two foot tail? I think the tail is the easy option because that'd be pretty sick, right? Would you rather be a hawk or be a shark? I think I'd probably go with well, sharks live longer, but hawks can fly. Sharks also have to live underwear, underwater. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> I can't read. I, I've rearranged myself a little bit to be a little bit more comfy. <laughs> We're already having a time, man. Got him. Wait, th this doesn't open until I, oh, but I had to beat Link the Goron. But I have no bombs. Do I have any way to explode that? Everybody, I'm about to do a, a, a pro gamer operation. Here he comes. Oh, is he still roll while I do the animation? <gasps> I got him! <laughs> uh, this is a bad situation. I think I have to die. I think I have to jump in the pit of death. Yep. I need you to re review the dirt in this game. <laughs> dirt sucks. One out of ten. No, I was born in Death Mountain Crater. Not on purpose. My mama was just walking home from Goron City. Decided to take the shortcut through the crater. You know, get to the, the owl that could take her down to the to the village. But uh, she went into labor right there. There must have been the heat. Luckily, there were some friendly Gorons who helped deliver me. And that's how I, MC Goron Gamer, was born. Of course, my, they, they used my middle name, Goron, based on off of the name of the Goron who delivered me, whose name was just Goron. Why are people watching this? This looks like vanilla to me. Never mind. It's Master Quest. Ow! And it has this awful music in it. Ow! I hear another Sculptula. I don't see another Sculptula. Die! <laughs> Dude! Die. All right, I'm gonna put this on now and I'll take it off at 6.45 on the timer. Professional review of Picross. It's like Sudoku, but you make pictures. Fantastic game. Eight out by eight. Eight out of eight. My voice is pretty rough already, Link Coloran, but I'm gonna try to go for it. Here we go. What's that icky paint like goop? It's moving! The Highland Shield of Kakiri Shop. Yeah, but I, I want, I want... I want that! I want that! I want, I want that. <laughs> My shield came back.
<laughs> it came back, dude. It's time for a, a Zelda lesson, everybody. Um, so you see that enemy in front of me, that floating uh, orb? You might not know what that enemy's name is, right? You might think it's Bubble. But bubbles are skulls that float in the air. His name is Shabom, which is uh, literally translate to explosive soap bubble, basically. Oh, pfft. I just got dive bomb. <gasps> Strength upgrade. Strength upgrade. <laughs> Upgrade. The Sinister Snorer. I have to draw what the Sinister Snorer looks like. There he is, the Sinister Snorer. Captured. I got him. Is this what I think it is? Astonishing, you snagged the Sinking Lure. Use it now. It's bombs! It's bombs! Oh, I feel so good now. I feel alive. This guy doesn't even know the weakest point of a, of a person's body. <laughs> I would say the very same, my friend. You wanna go? You wanna die first? You can die first. Your brother will die second. Give me the big money, man, big money. Hover boots! Shadow Temple's got some checks now. For right now, I'm gonna give you all a presentation on uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. It turns out I had Eric's presentation saved in my Google Drive for some reason. So I don't have the notes for this, so, but I'm gonna give you guys a informative speech about Super Smash Brothers Melee. It's developed, as you all know, by HAL Laboratory uh, and published by Nintendo. It was directed, of course, by Masahiro Sakurai. It's pictured here, that's him. The game, it's a crossover fighting game. It features some of those uh, popular Nintendo characters, you know, Mario, Link, Zelda, the princess. This is still in fan art, I think. Ganondorf Dragmere here. This is red-haired Rick. Over here is Jimmy Fallon. This is a monkey. And this is uh, Fox and his lover, Falco. You see, down here, this is not Super Smash Brothers. This is Dal Seam. Uh, he goes, Yo, got fire. As you can see, <laughs> <laughs> the video game runs. <laughs> That's how you play it. You use one of these babies, dude. You got to press the button, the green one, the red one, the ones that look like bean boozled. <laughs> then, then you got the Mike and Ike up top. Here are some gifts that we stole off of a website. Jigglypuff uh, extends her health foot upon the world. Back in the day, people just played in their living rooms on these ugly old TVs. This is Ken. He was on Survivor. The Dark Age. Yeah, this game came along. Terrible. And then in 2009, we decided to call some some human beings gods. This is Mango. This is Mewtwo King. Dr. PP. I'm sorry, his his tag is PPMD because he wanted to be more esports. This is Armada. And this is Hungrybox. This, this photo looks like it was a mugshot. Top characters. Fox McCloud is the best. Uh, Jigglypuff is the worst. And Pikachu close behind. Conclusion. This has been my presentation that I've stolen from Eric on Super Smash Brothers Melee. I thought there was gonna be another slide. The ball! All right, I think I'm ready to continue now. I don't know how to tie a tie at this hour, so. We are on top of the world now. We are a god amongst men. Link has often told me in my dreams that he is a god and I say, that's really weird. Why are you talking to me like that in my dream? Where is he? Wait. My mind is freaking exploded, dude. I'm a genius. All right, thank you uh, everybody for watching tonight's stream. We went 10 hours of Ocarina of Time Hell Mode. I am saving the game though. But everyone, this has been actually a very, very fun stream. I had a lot of fun. I'm very tired. I am extremely tired.